Welcome to Maths for All. I'm Ashling Flynn. This is Statistics 1.8 Data Distribution. So the word distribution refers to how something is shared out among a group or spread out over an area. In statistics, when we ask a question, we can get many numbers in reply. We look to find generalities in the replies. We calculate measures of centre, we look at measures of spread, and looking at the data on a graph, we can see these things. We can see peaks, which indicate measures of centre, and we can see spreads, how wide the graph is. And the shape of the graph can be centred or it can be to one side. All this information can be described by what we call the distribution of the data. Okay, on this slide we have a symmetric distribution. Okay, symmetric distributions are when the left and the right hand sides of the distribution are roughly equally balanced around the mean. And the histogram below shows a typical symmetric distribution. Okay, so um, you can see that the mean is indicated here in the middle. So if you were to add up all the values that created this histogram and divide by how many, you'd get the value here on your horizontal axis. This would be the mean. Okay, and if the left of your distribution is roughly equal to the right of your distribution, so roughly the same, we call it symmetrical. Okay, now it might be ever slight differences, that's okay. And so if it's generally balanced, the mean and the median, the median which is the halfway mark, will both be right in the centre. Okay, so 50% below and 50% above the median. Okay, and that's symmetrical. Um, here we see a distribution that's not symmetrical. Okay, so let's look at what's different about it first on the picture. So here we can see the peak. All right, the peak usually indicates where the median is. All right, uh, the 50% mark is here. Okay, we can see that there, there are a lot of values in this part and this part or bin of the histogram and then it falls off, okay, as so. All right, um, so what this shows is that there's some values here that are very much bigger than the general group of data, okay? You could call them outliers, okay? And they, have, um, they are of large value. Okay, and what this does, when you calculate the mean, remember the mean is all of the values added together and divided by how many. So these large outliers, when you add them in to calculate the mean, they produce a mean that is bigger than the median. Okay, so they increase the mean. All right, and uh, this type of distribution is called skewed right. So come back up here to the text, skewed right, because um, the tail or the shape of the histogram is pulled to the right. Okay, it's also called skewed positively. Um, if you like to think of the number line, the positive direction is to the right and the negative direction is to the left. Okay, so right or positive. For a right skewed distribution, the mean is typically greater than the median. We explain that as the influence of very large values. Also, notice that the tail of the distribution on the right-hand side is longer than on the left-hand side. Okay, so it's as if you took the tail of a symmetrical distribution and 
pulled it to the right or stretched it. Now here's the reverse of that. Um, let's look at the picture first. So we've got the median where the peak is, right? The highest point is generally the median. And in this distribution we have very uh, small outliers, or small in value. OK, and uh, what this does is when you calculate the mean, you have to add in all those small values and divide by how many. The mean is then given a smaller value than the median. And so the mean is to the left of the median. OK, now the shape of the distribution is where most of the values are here near the peak. then it is stretched out to the left. Okay, so this is left or opposite to before the negatively skewed uh, distribution. Okay, so the word skewed means it's pushed to one side or pulled to one side. Okay, uh, here we've got skewed left or skewed negatively. A distribution that is skewed left has exactly the opposite characteristics to one that is skewed right. It mean, The mean is typically less than the median. The tail of the distribution is longer on the left hand side than on the right hand side. Okay, so it's going to have more very small values. Now, so here we can uh, describe or we can compare the three different uh, distributions together. Okay, so what I do is I always look to where is the peak. Okay, peak is here. Uh, look, they've used this kind of diagram here. The peak is in the center and there's roughly 50% uh, to the left and 50% to the right. Now I say roughly because uh, in reality, they're not perfectly half and half, or there may be little differences. Okay, now if we looked at the next diagram, the peak is here. Okay, or here. And you can see that, yes, the, the right hand side is stretched out more. Okay, and there's large values here. So this is skewed right or positive. And for the third example, here's the peak. And you can see that there are some very small values here. And the tail is pulled to the left or to the negative side of the number line. OK. So there we have it, symmetric, skewed right and skewed left. So in the exam, you may be asked to describe a distribution. OK, so here we see distributions of stem and leaf plots. This is the uh, one of the advantages of stem and leaf plots is that you can see the distributions and be able to um, describe them. OK, so if you take your stem and leaf here, usually we're reading from top to bottom. OK, so vertically. Then if you rotate it by 90 degrees, what you've got now is very similar to a histogram. If you were to put bins or bars around all those values and suddenly you've got a histogram. Okay, and you can see the shape. So this one we see the peak here and we can see and the kangaroo illustrates that the tail goes off to the left. There are some very small values, okay, that are not really part of the main group, okay. So this one here is skewed left or skewed negatively, all right. So stem and leaf are good like that. You can see the distributions. Uh, here's a skewed positive or positive skew stem and leaf, okay. Again, you've got to imagine it rotated. Uh, identify where the peak is, that your median will be in there somewhere. Okay, um, look at the shape and you can see that yes, it tails off to the right. So it's right uh, skewed or skewed right and it's positively skewed. 
okay and then we've got a third example here if you imagine that rotated all right look at the shape okay like you see it's not perfectly even left and right but if we look to the peak here your median will be in there someplace okay and it is roughly a half and a half to the left and the right okay and so that we'll say is a symmetric distribution now you try some questions on that with the quiz and uh, with your written exercises